You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. Because it matters. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, the Dallas Cowboys have been working on hiring themselves uh, three coaches already, uh, beginning to round together the roster and starting to figure out who's going to be here, who's not going to be here and what kind of defense they're going to be running. And I was sitting here thinking um, sometimes, okay, you know, you know when, when I think it's dangerous, okay, and just like that clip, you play to win the game. Now, sometimes you have to think outside of the box, okay? Um, I want you to think about the Cowboys linebacking problems that we had this year, okay? We ended up having Damone Clark, who – is a good offside linebacker, as in weak side, a guy that's going to chase, a guy that's going to cover and things like that. Leighton Van Der Esch was our thumper, you know, our middle linebacker, our guy that's run sport. And first, before we go any further, for everybody that's out there, what we want you to understand is the position. And there's a lot of people who don't really know the positions, okay? You have your defensive line, okay, which are usually your big fat guys, okay? Your guys are there for run support and to occupy the offensive line. You have your outside linebackers or your edge rushers, which are typically smaller than your defensive linemen. They're quicker. Their job is to get upfield and have outside contain, meaning nothing gets past them on the outside. Keep everything funneled into the inside. Then you have, of course, your defensive backfield, of course, which are the guys that are usually your smaller guys, your faster guys, the guys that can run quick. They're going to be there with your receivers. That's the cornerbacks. Then you have your safety. Your safety is your last line of defense. They're a guy that usually can cover, but not usually as fast as the cornerbacks, but can also help in run support and typically are kind of like headhunters. They're guys that love to get their nose into the game. You know, they're kind of coming through there and they're coming through with a ton of bricks. And in between all of that, you have almost a hybrid a linebacker, that's a guy who is not big like a defensive lineman, you know, a 300-pound-plus guy, but he's not small like a 200-pound a cornerback. Usually, they're somewhere in the neighborhood of about 220 to 260, depending on which, okay? So you have what's known as the Mike linebacker, which the M stands for middle. And then you have your Will, which stands for weak side, okay? And then you have your S, your strong side, okay? We called them the Spike and the Duke um, at NJMU because we had two linebacker sets. So that's what they are. So you have your Mike, your Will, and so on. Your strong side, your middle linebacker, and your weak side. Typically, your weak side linebackers are your smaller, quicker ones, okay? A guy like N'Kobe Dean should be a weak side linebacker because he's fast and can hit. He can chase people. He can cover tight ends. But your middle linebacker, like Leighton Van Der Esch, you don't look at Leighton Van Der Esch and say, that guy can cover receivers because he's not really good. He's a big guy. He's a stud. He is a thumper, like I like to call him. And once Leighton Van Der Esch went down, and I don't think Leighton Van Der Esch is going to be able to come back, we don't have a thumper. Now, people will say, well, we need to go ahead and take Micah Parsons and make him a linebacker. Well, the problem is, is he's your best edge rusher. And so you don't really want to mess with that. Now, the Cowboys have a propensity of taking guys that may be one position, and this is throughout their history, and turning them into something else. Randy White, believe it or not, when he came to the Cowboys, was a linebacker, and he was awful. And then they made him a defensive tackle, and he goes to the Hall of Fame. Charlie Waters was a cornerback, and he was too slow to cover guys. They made him a safety, and he should be 
Well, uh, I think he's in the ring. Is he? He should be in the ring of honor. He should be. One of the best safeties we ever had. Not as good as Darren Woodson, who should be in the Hall of Fame, but really good. And you can think about Mark Tuane, who was a defensive lineman. They made him a tackle, and they won. He wrote, wrote that play when we need to three Super Bowls. So it's not like the Cowboys haven't done that in their past history and been successful. This year, they decided, we don't have linebackers, so let's take Marquise Bell. No disrespect against Marquise Bell. He was a safety. But Marquise Bell, let me look at his size. See, here's the problem. He's six foot three. And 205 pounds. That's too light in the ass. Um, We also have, let me look at Damone Clark real quick. I'm curious what Damone Clark um, size wise. Damone Clark. This is incredible that you get all this information. He's 6'3", 240. Not bad. A lot, lot better, but still not bad. Um, But you still need that thumper. Now, here's a crazy idea for you. This is so outside the box, it's not even crazy. Because this guy is usually playing inside the box. Okay? What if, since the Cowboys like to take a guy in one position and put him in another, what about taking Sam Williams, edge rusher, and making him a middle linebacker. Here's the reason why I say this, because you guys, I don't know if you remember, we had Rolando McClain from the Raiders, the last true, really good thumper that we had. Rolando McClain was a guy who loved contact. He just didn't love to practice, and he didn't really love football. But he was an incredible talent that had a natural instinct for getting the ball carrier and hitting them with the load. He was six foot three, 254 pounds. Okay. Sam Williams. Sam Williams is an inch taller and about 15 pounds heavier and a lot faster. Sam Williams is used to playing in space because Sam Williams does a lot of special teams work having to run downfield, go through traffic, shed blocks, and get to the ball carrier. He gets to the ball carrier. He gets to the kickers, too, through that traffic. He's good at getting to the point of attack. Only problem is is sometimes he gets there and he's a little too violent and ends up getting a penalty. So what you have here, again, now I don't know if the Cowboys have thought of this one or anybody else has or not, but you have a guy who is tall, six foot four. He can see over the lines. He's 260 pounds, okay, which is very heavy for a linebacker, okay? That's big for a linebacker. But typically a guy that's 260 can't move with speed like he has. Let me let me give you an idea. In the combine, let me go back to his numbers. Sorry, I don't have them right up here on the screen, right? Six foot four, 261, right? His 40 was a 4.46. That boy is fast. So let me say again. Now I don't know. Now, now again, now. There's a big difference between being an outside linebacker and an edge rusher, but a lot of times he's he's rushing standing up. And I'm going to say we had Charles Haley at JMU used to play middle linebacker, and they made him an outside linebacker. It's not uh, it's it's different. You're going to have to make the calls. Although you could have Donovan Wilson or one of the safeties making the calls. But if you're talking about having somebody who can fill, who can move in traffic, who can be fast enough and can deliver a blow, it's right there. He's got all the pieces. He's got all the pieces. Maybe that's where the guy should be. 
I know we've looked at him, and I know Brian's like, I'm sick of this guy, man, with his penalties and this, that, and the other. But maybe, just maybe, this is the move that they need. Uh, tell me, you know, leave in the comments here if you think I'm crazy. But if you can get that guy to play downhill at 6'4 with that kind of speed, there's your run stopper. There's your run stopper. All right, guys. Um, we'll see what we'll see. Uh, hopefully, you'll join us here tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern. Uh, we'll be talking about this and uh, the new coaching hires and things. And be on the lookout for something new here. Because at Joe Boo Sports, I know I'm old and I'm technology challenged, but we're always trying to do the next thing. And Joe Boo Sports, you know, we, we try and be an innovator here. And I've got something new. Check these out. These, my friend, are not term not just Terminator glasses, so to speak, but there's actually a camera in the middle on that. And so we're going to be able to do stuff where you can see what I see. Yeah. And so this is going to be fun when we go to the draft and things like that so we can pan the whole area and things like that. It's going to free, free my hands up and things when I'm working here on the Red Brick House and things. It's going to be a game changer. And Sam Williams... He could be a game changer too. All right, good people. As always, I appreciate you guys, and I will see you really, really soon. Peace.